first and foremost, we're going to say all praise be to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our elders of GMS. Yep. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Rock and thumb to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity. Yep. True doctrine. Rock and thumb to all you brothers that's pushing the truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Hey, we out here to wake up the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah the so-called Negroes, Levi the so-called Haitians, Benjamin the so-called West Indians, uh, the uh, Jamaicans, they're called Jamaicans, Gad the so-called North American Indians, Reuben are the so-called Seminole Indians, Issachar are the so-called Mexican Indians, Zebulon is Guatemala to Panama, uh, you have uh, Manasseh are the so-called Cubans, Ephraim are the so-called Puerto Ricans, you have Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, Naphtali, Argentina to Chile. And uh, Seminole are the, uh, Simeon are the so-called Dominicans. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who Yahweh Shai is coming back to give salvation to. But to these, only an elect he's giving salvation to. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 7 and uh, Acts 5 and 30. 29 and 30. 45 and 7. The Lord chose an elect out of the, out of the nation, and that word elect comes from a, a Latin word electus, and a Greek word electos, meaning to, to choose out. So He's going to choose out an elect to give salvation to, grace and mercy to. So two thirds you're set up for the destruction. Isaiah 45 and 7. I formed the light. I created darkness. So like, yeah. uh, Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob my service sake and Israel my elect. I have even called thee by thy name. I have sur surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. See, thou hast not known you. So two thirds are not going to know you. And your name, your name is the names we just gave you. The slave master gave you by word names like Negro, Puerto Rican. He gave you the name like a Cuban. He gave you the name of an Indian. And that says mine elect. Like I just said, the word elect comes from the Hebrew word. Bakaya, Bakaya, which means to choose out. From a Latin word electus and the Greek word electos, man. So the Lord didn't come for everybody like y'all think. He had his chosen people, his chosen family, the Israelites. And out of them, he didn't he didn't choose everybody. So Matthew, you got Matthew 2. Baby, dude, I 
ain't, I got, got uh, blessed out my meat yet. You hear me? Drink it. Come on, homie. Still on that milk. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12, Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, 12, he sent forth out of the disciples. Read. Saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, the other nations. And into any city of the Samar Samaritans. Samaritan, yeah. uh, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read. And, and as ye go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's why we are here. We are actually those watchmen who have been put on watch. The night watch. The evening watch to go out and push out to our people Israel that the time is short. Yahweh Shai is on his way back to redeem his people. And whether you like it or not, that's our job, is to push that. The destruction of America. It's our job to let you know the famine and the pestilence and the destruction that's coming up on this place, which is spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah. That's our job. And we know a lot of you out there don't like it. But the scripture said in Ezekiel the third chapter tell you, you tell them whether they hear or whether they will forbear. We just had two Jakes walk by. They forbear the word. So it's gonna be destruction on them, man. Yeah, and uh read that again in Matthew again, Matthew 10. Matthew 10 and 5. These twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans into ye not. Yeah, give me, uh, if you don't mind, I, I ain't trying to, give me, uh, 2 Kings, uh, 17 and, uh, 20. Okay. Second Kings, 17. And read down to the 24th verse. Behold what you got in in 20 and the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of spoilers right until he had cast them out of his sight right Israel Israel is a northern tribe from Ephraim on down you had you had uh you had the northern tribe which is uh Israel and you had the southern tribe which is Judah all right See? For he rent Israel from his house, the house of David, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nabat king. Right. And Jeroboam drave Israel from following the Lord, yeah. and the Lord them, and the Lord made them sin a great sin. Right. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. They departed not from them uh -huh. until Yahweh removed Israel out of his sight, right. as he had said by all his servants, the prophets. So was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria until this day. Right. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Qatar and from Ava and from Hamath and from Sar 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 Sepharvim and placed them in the cities of Samaria uh -huh. instead of the children of Israel. All right. Now remember that Samaria. Stay where you at, huh? And read Matthew 10 again. Matthew 10 and 5. Right. These 12, Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into the city of the Samaritans. Now, that's why the Lord told them not to go in the city of Samaria. Some people sometimes would say those were, some people sometimes would slip up like myself and say well, those are Canaanites, but those are Cushites. Those were Cushites in those lands. And and that's where you get them uh them uh Falashi Jews from. Because over a period of time them Ethiopians, uh them Ethiopians was taught, was taught uh them law and and then they over 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 periods of time they start saying they were they are Israelites, but they not. 
But like I said, you got some of the elect scattered amongst all nations. But that's the reason why the Lord said, don't go into Samaria. Because you had the Cushites in that land. Says, and this is verse 24. Right. And they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. Yeah. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there. They they feared not the Lord. Therefore, Yahweh sent lions unto them, which right. slew some of them. Yeah. So if they if they had a mixture and they had Canaanites and Cushites in them, if they had a mixture, that's what it is. But those are those are those are Hamites, those are not Israelites. All right, so continue right here. Verse 25, and so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there, they feared not Yahweh. Uh -huh. Therefore, Yahweh set lions among them, yeah. which slew some of them. So them heathens couldn't keep the law. They couldn't keep the law. So the Most High sent lions among them because they were not Israelites. Them Colossian Jews are not Israelites. Them Ethiopians are not Israelites. They come out of hand. Like I said, like I said, you got some of our people scattered amongst the Ethiopians because you got Israel scattered amongst all nations. Okay? Continue that in uh, Kings. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and replaced in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the Most High, the right. power of the land. Right. Therefore he have sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the power of the land. Right. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests. He said, what? How many other priests? One of the priests. One of the priests, meaning the Levites. Those are the Haitians today. So you can understand, all right? Whom ye brought from this, uh -huh. and let them go and dwell there, uh -huh. and let them teach them the manner of the, of the power of the land. Right. Then one of the priests, whom I had carried away from Samaria, came and dwelt in Bethel, uh -huh. and taught them how they should fear the Lord Yahweh. Howbeit every nation made gods of their own and put them in the houses of the high places which the Sumerians had made. Right. Every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt. Right. And the men of Babylon made Sakut Benach, and the men of Kut Kut made Nagal, and the men of Hamat made Ashima, and the Avis Avites made Nip Nip Niphaus in Turtok. And the uh, Serviites burned their children in the fire of Adrimelech and Animelech, the gods of Servia. So, them, them Sarvim, Sarvim, Sarvim. So them, so them heathens, they couldn't keep the law. You see, them heathens couldn't keep the law. But, like I was saying, uh. Let me get uh well, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this brother read this. But like I said, we talk about the black, but we just showing you that them them uh them heathens, them heathen nations, them Hamites are not Israelites. Okay? And to prove that they couldn't keep the law, uh what you you finna go for something? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Samaritan woman. That's in. Uh... Why well, read this? I read this. It says uh, this second Ezra chapter three, verse thirty-one. It says now we use this scripture for America, okay? We use this scripture for America, and also we use it for them Cushites because them Babylonians are the ancient Cushites. But America is the daughter of Babylon, okay? This second Ezra, chapter three, verse 31. I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they men of Babylon better than they of Zion? Or is there any 
other people that know thee besides Israel? Or what generation has so believed thy covenant as Jacob? And yet their reward appear, appears not, and their labor had no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathens, and I see that they follow in wealth. They fo follow in wealth, and, and think not upon thy commandments. Weigh thy therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and there also, uh, also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name no more be found but in Israel, or when it was, I mean Salakia, or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight, or what people have kept, have, have so kept thy family, thou shalt find not Salakia. Thou shalt find that Israel by name had kept thy precepts, but not the heathens. So that's edification that the Most High is not dealing with the Cushites. Okay, like I said, that's good to two folk. It's, it's, uh, it's America is known as Babylon and the ancient Babylonians, okay? Like I said, there's two for America is known as the daughter of Babylon, and then them ancient Babylonians are the Kushites, all right? All right. Matthews 10 and 5. Right. These 12 Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of Samaritan enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yep. Book of John, chapter 4, uh, verse uh, 7. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Yahweh I said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? Right. For the Jews have no dealing with the Samarians. Because them Cushites and them, and them Canaanites was in that land. Okay? All right. Shai answered and said unto her, if thou knowest the gift of God, and who is it that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thy wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Right. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou the living water? Yeah. Art thou greater than our father Jacob? which gave us the well and drank thereof himself. Well, watch what the Lord say. And his children and his cattle. Mm -hmm. Yehowah Shai answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Right. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But I'm going to speed you up. Jacob was not, she's not a descendant of Jacob. Okay? okay. And that's why the Lord told her, look, Whosoever drink of this water, mean the truth of the meaning of meaning the word, okay? Because that's life. You won't thirst again. But if you drink of the water that's in the well, then you're gonna thirst. You yeah. see? So that's what he was telling them. Alright? It's like we just read in Kings, second Kings, 17th chapter. It said that that they sent one of the priests. Right. And that priest taught them. The Israelite ways. Right. So if they get taught them ways as they go down through their generations, they're gonna think they Israelites. Yep. <laughs> so. Just like them so-called Jews. <laughs> which they don't, which they don't, them so-called Jews, they believe in the Tao move, man. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in the King James Bible. <laughs> because they know that the King James Bible is not for them. That's why they come up with the Tao move. And they go back to Babylonian worship. <laughs> you know? Because them so-called Jews converted. Well, some so-called Jews start calling themselves uh, Jews.